What's up guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to another episode of Print Pros. Today, we're gonna to be working on a very special project. Final moments. Racoma will be sponsoring the Miami Bandits Little League team. And as a leader in the custom apparel industry, we wanna make sure that our little bandits look their best. That's why today, as part of a special two-part episode, we're gonna be customizing 12 baseball helmets with sticker vinyl. I'll take you through the entire design process from setting up my design on my Signmaster Cut Arms vinyl cutting software to cutting out our design on our 25-inch RCP6301 vinyl cutter and applying it to our helmets. Along the way, I'll also share a few helpful tips about using sticker vinyl and why it's the perfect material for a bulk order like this one. But before I jump into today's episode, make sure to subscribe to our channel and smash that like button Button so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. All right, without further ado, let's play ball! So first off, Let's talk about sticker vinyl and what sets it apart from other types of decorative vinyl. To put it simply, sticker vinyl is a strong, durable vinyl material with an adhesive backing that can easily be applied to a variety of different substrates. It comes in a wide variety of colors, is super cost effective, and on average can last anywhere from five to 10 years depending on where the material is applied. So by the way, it is recommended to use permanent vinyl for garments or athletic equipment that experience frequent wear or tear. Unlike heat transfer vinyl or permanent vinyl, sticker vinyl does not require transfer paper or a heat press. Simply cut, peel, press, and go. As a result, this material is perfect for quickly decorating hard surfaces or in garments as part of a bulk order. However, sticker vinyl is better suited for substrates that don't receive a lot of physical contact or get washed regularly. This is because heat transfer vinyl and permanent vinyl form a more permanent bond with the substrate. As such, it will hold up to wear and tear better. We actually have a video on our YouTube channel where we go through the entire HTV decorating process. I'll leave a link to it on the card above and the description below. Now, let's go take a look at the materials I'll be using to decorate my helmet. For this project, all I'm going to need is a few sheets of orange sticker vinyl, a weeding tool, some alcohol wipes, our Signmaster Cut Arms vinyl cutting software, and our RCP6301 25 inch vinyl cutter, which you can find on shop.recoma.com. I'll leave a link to the product in the card above and the description below. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up my design software and import my design. So I have my design. What I'm gonna do is left click and hold it, and then I'm gonna put the square over the R. Once it's highlighted, I'm gonna select the Apple icon, create cut contour, and right here where it says images detected, do you want to include their auto traced contours? You select yes. You go ahead down here and select trace. And also you wanna make sure to keep the holes so that this can cut out the R. And perfect, it cuts out the lines we need. We're gonna hit apply, and then now we're gonna hit accept. So now your design is traced. And now what you're gonna do just go over here to the cutter. And over here, since this is gonna go onto a helmet directly, we don't need transfer paper and we don't need to mirror our design. So over here, you make sure that the mirror is unchecked. In this case it is, so we don't have to do anything else. Now, we're gonna do an area test just to make sure that the cutter will cut the vinyl. I'm gonna load my vinyl sheet into my cutter and lock it in place. Because we are using sticker vinyl, we don't have to feed it upside down on the cutter. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to settings. I'm gonna set my cutting force to 200. The blade is gonna be at level four. And my speed is gonna be 400. I'm gonna select my design click on the cut icon, and I'm going to do an area test of my design. All right, now that that's set, let's get cutting. All right, there's our vinyl. Now we're just gonna weed out the excess vinyl and reveal my design. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my vinyl. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and get my rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna clean the area where I'm gonna put my sticker vinyl. Once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and peel off my vinyl design and adhere it directly to my helmet. 
However, we highly recommend to use transfer paper for more intricate designs to transfer the design over to any substrate or garment. That's all there is to it. We have officially decorated a baseball helmet using sticker vinyl. One down, 11 to go. Let's go back to our software and create the 11 remaining designs. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the R and I'm gonna align it at the top left. And then I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna hit duplicate 10 times. That way I have a total of 11 since I have one. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm gonna left click out of the box and then I'm gonna left click and hold. And right here, you're gonna have one design. Then we're gonna go ahead again, another design. Try to align it as best you can. Left click and hold. All right, so now we have them lined up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna left click and hold. Get the rectangle like this. We're gonna highlight all of them and we're gonna do just like we did earlier. Hit the apple, create cut contour. And now you're gonna have all 11 designs and where it says images detected, do you wish to include the auto trace designs or contours? You hit yes. You make sure you keep the holes so that it cuts out the, the portions of the R. You hit trace. And we'll hit apply. And over here we'll hit accept. And now, all 11 logos are traced. Then you would just go ahead over here to the cutter. And at the cutter, you'll see that all 11 designs are there. We're running area test just to make sure that it fits on all the vinyl. And once we're done, we'll just hit cut now and we'll cut the rest of the 11 designs. And that's it. The bandits are gonna love these. That's it, you guys. Part one of our special two-part episode is officially done. Be sure to tune in next time on Print Pros to see part two as we customize the team's jerseys. If you're looking for more inspiration for your next printing project or to get some more advice on custom apparel, then be sure to check us out on Facebook and join our embroidery and custom apparel mastery group. If you haven't done so already, make sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok for informative and entertaining content. Also, be sure to let us know in the comments if there are any other topics you'd like to see in a future episode of Print Pros. I'll see you next time.